I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Excellent. Good day. Hello, sir. Do you expect we'll have a pleasant crossing? It is a quiet time of year, though rogue storms and troubled waters are not unheard of. But no need to fret. At worst, they'll prove an inconvenience. I'm more concerned about pirates and rogue privateers. Have you encountered them before? Aye. But the Providence is a strong ship, and her crew well trained. They will surely keep us safe. Mr. Kenway. Captain. Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. I'd best get to work. He's cut our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. Jesus, won't I be quiet? Here he comes. Make like you're working. Quite the basting you gave Graves and Quill. Wasn't by choice. Aye. Blockheads, the both of them. Where are my manners? Louis Mills. Pleased to meet you. Atham Kenway. So, should I be watching my back? I think the boys learned their lesson. That they're normally not so nasty. Honest, it's just the past few crossings have been a bit rough. Oh? Captain's trying to cut costs, reduce rations, lower wages, more dangerous cargo. It's put the crew on edge. Is there cause for concern, then? Not if I can help it. But the captain needs to think about the way he treats his men.
looking for another fight? Is that it? Go away. You there. I have some questions for you. That's nice, but I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. serving for another couple hours. Some biscuits in the barrel if you're desperate. Actually, I've come with a question. What's that? Have any of the men been acting strange recently? Said anything that struck you as out of the ordinary? The boys cry about the rations, as if there's anything I can do about it. But beyond that, I ain't heard much. My advice? Go find James. His ears are always open. And where might I find him? Right behind you, actually. He's the one sitting on the barrel. Are you James? Hi. Atham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. So, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk him down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Say care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? He's got our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxury. It's not like you should feast on lamb and wine. Fish and biscuits. Most curious. Most curious. 